Hello and welcome to another episode of The Aftermath. Get lost. Whoa, 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 slow down. Leave. We hate you. As always, I'm Ian, and this is my one of my co-hosts, Overly Aggressive. You don't need to know who the fuck I am. His name is Dylan, don't worry about him. <laughs> and there's a spinning man, he's still spinning. <laughs> spinning man. Can you slow down? It's our special guest for the evening. Ethan, I need to stop spinning. Yes, <laughs> Please help. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us, Ethan. Uh, How was your trip? I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been spinning on my legs. It's all I know. You let your spiral power get out of control. Oh, yeah. My spiral power was off the charts, man. Yeah, I know, for real. <laughs> oh, man. I was you should so have seen it. That guy you was almost going. became a galaxy. Yeah, right. I, that almost took a, ha- a galaxy and threw it like a frisbee <laughs> at some guy who claimed that he was God or something. Yeah. Yeah. In case these uh, references nope, haven't they, tipped anyone. No, have no, <laughs> no. They need no, to know. No. You know what? Well, these these references are based off the of last episode we exactly, talked about. I know, but these references, they know it. And if they don't, then they don't. Not cool enough. If they don't, if they don't, then how aren't they known? Exactly. <laughs> so these were all references, and that's it. We're going to leave Anyways, it there. We watched Aww. a movie, and it was in Spanish, and I <laughs> couldn't keep up with <laughs> it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You I always, was <laughs> you always jump head first. I want to talk a little bit. You're always like, Spanish. we watched a movie. Because we did. Yes. We but shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we watched a movie. It was in Spanish. I yes. was lost. This is the whole premise of the show. Everyone gets that. But let me talk for a second. <laughs> movie no. yes. Movie let comes me. first. Let me talk about how I'm feeling right now, God darn it. <laughs> I want to talk about your feelings. <laughs> How did the movie piercing, feel? Giga drill. You just sat there for two and a half hours and stared at it. How would you like it if I did that? Here, let's start. I'm pretty sure it was only two now hours. Now you're the movie. It was only two hours worth of you guys. Chill, chill. <laughs> How does it feel to be the movie? It was a good movie. Oh, uh, high energy great. episode. This is fun. Anyways. I like yelling. Anyway, well, because we're actually doing it at a decent time. I don't know. It's, it's still, oh, glo- shit, it's still pretty right. late. Still, still, it's not 1 a.m., but it's still pretty late. But it's okay. not bad. Close. That's close. Anyway, That's a new record. <laughs> as I was saying. As you were saying. Most people right now uh, are getting their Spotify wrapped <laughs> lists. Uh-huh. And uh, oh, yeah. it's like what you've been listening to as far as like music goes and podcasts and all that kind of stuff. They know. Yes, they know, of course. Everything is um, yeah, numbers now. All of it's analytics now. You are just a number in a machine, just in case you didn't know that. That's my whole life has been a number. It's fine. Uh, exactly. Brick in the wall. A copy I mean, in the machine. I care about you, but you're just a number. But my, that's okay. my spiral power is off the charts, though. I'm not <laughs> I'm just kidding. Something I'm in the kidding. Wall. I'm kidding. Please. Will you pierce the heavens? Nobody. Uh, I already have. You guys got to quit making the same reference. <laughs> but it's, it's too late. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, well, guess what? Sir. well, guess what? All right. It's going to happen. May the force be with you. Gosh darn it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> new oh, reference. Oh, a new reference? Guess what? <laughs> yeah. Hydra will still pierce the force. Anyway. Okay. Whoa. Pierce the force. Pierce the force. Yo, that's a band. Hashtag the, pierce the force. The biggest, <laughs> cro- yeah. biggest crossover 2020. Right. That's such Damn. an ambitious crossover, right? Cool. Anyways, as I was saying, um, mm-hmm. we just recently got a word from uh, one of Ethan's friends that were. Uh, on their, their on top, their top five, five yeah. list of a uh, podcast oh, that yeah. they uh, top five that they listen to, yeah. and that really warms my heart a little bit. And I really appreciate anybody that's listened over this past. Uh, it hasn't been a whole year for us yet, but we're coming up on a year at the at the beginning of twenty twenty one, and it still means a lot. And I just wanted to say that at the top of the uh, episode, if there's any of you out there that have been listening to the podcast pretty consistently, wherever you are, uh, just know that I welcome I th- to Earth. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, refer- <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's a reference we're to a movie. We're going to punch you in the face. <laughs> we haven't even seen that movie No, yet. that's a reference to a movie we haven't even seen yet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably going to be a podcast movie at some point. Wait, yes. <laughs> this is, You're going to ask if I've seen gonna, it or haven't, aren't you? No, this is going to be the stupidest question of my life. What's that? Um, Have either of you seen Independence Day? I thought no. you, I, you, you said, Fuck. are you... Now, I, I, I think say, I may have. You were going to ask that, and I was going to say no, because of course I haven't. I've seen just seen that scene because it's memed. Well, like Jurassic it. Park. I don't think I ever watched all the Jurassic Park memes, but I do remember that one get time, that one scene with the guy with the cigar who says, <laughs> hold on to your butts. I've seen that scene a dozen times. <laughs> you make the power go out. Right. right. Anyway, hold on to your butts. Anyway, so I can continue. If there's any of you out there that we've made it onto your top five list of your listen to podcast, send it to us. Tell us about it. Reach out to us. Just let Hold us know. Hold on to your butts. It, I love to hear that. It makes my day. Like many upstart companies, we will cherish and appreciate 
any praise, oh, however of course. small. I, I want to say, even though any. we're all kind of sarcastic and goofy around here, I just want to say just legitimately that I appreciate it. It means a lot. We it's, love you. It's a lot of fun. Um, Never going to say goodbye. Never going <laughs> to tell a lie and hurt you. Facts. <laughs> Back to, yeah, big facts. Go ahead and spit those facts, Dylan. Yeah, Come on. Dropping straight fire. I have no commitments that I'm thinking of. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's it. You wouldn't right. get this from any other guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Are We've you dropping each straight other bars? Is someone writing so this long. down? Is someone writing this down? Are you are you uh, are you talking about a, a nice lady? You're talking about uh, no. no. Oh no! Ouch! <clears throat> no. How would you describe the movie in three words? Um. <laughs> oh, we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I keep forgetting to. I think it's like a little this, blast from the boom. Uh, tough act in tonight. Whoa, whoa. Uh, let's see. Three words. Foul no. <laughs> you, you already know mine are going to be off the wall. Gun, hard bullet. No, okay. no, 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 no. Um, um, and okay, you guys are really. This is. I'm this trying is to think of thinking. Really good ones. You guys are. Mine was going to be El Pollo Loco, but that's fine. El Pollo Loco. <laughs> <laughs> the whole movie was in Spanish, and I could not shake that trying to understand what was going what? on. Okay, that's if I can say be. something at the top, what, what? the uh, the narrator's voice at the start and at the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a voice! Yeah, right. What a narrating voice. Yeah. Okay, so well, describe it in three so words. Low. Um, oh, for, okay. I didn't we, didn't. we didn't say this. We watched um, Pan's Labyrinth. For those of you, I was, who I was just hoping that you'd have. A, I was hoping <laughs> my plan was for him to have a quick response to it, and then be like, "Haha!" Based on that description, what do you think it is? Uh, ah, it was Pan's Labyrinth. <clears> but he was slow and ruined the joke. Baby sacrifice failure. Actually, that works really well. That we watched really great. we watched Pan's Labyrinth, where a baby was not sacrificed. Crazy Probably. fawn maze, crazy fawn, crazy, <laughs> crazy fawn, fawn maze, maze words. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. And uh, we that's got good one. El Pollo Loco. Awesome. Yeah, so that's a great one. <clears throat> and then uh, in one word, uh, I would just say <clears throat> Pan. Pan. <laughs> <laughs> or may, you know what? Dirty. Just, you know, if I could pick one word, mine would just be rain. Squelch. <laughs> yeah. Squelch. <laughs> Squel- <laughs> ah, dude, squelching is such a good word. There was so much squelching <laughs> noise. There was so much squelching. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, so that way yeah. the the audience can also jump in on that on that joke. How did you first come up with the squelching? Oh, uh, we, yeah, we we sometimes I mean, have <laughs> memes amongst the friend group where we all kind of say our own thing and we yeah. joke around. I don't a lot. know if I ever brought it's it up. It's time it's to just, make more references. I, I think we did talk about this last time though. Really? But yeah, squelching noise came from when we were watching Stranger Things, and uh. it describes the goop from the monster and from the portals. <laughs> well, not even the goop, but just the noise that it makes. Which I guess that is a way of Schlarp. describing it. But yeah, I was thinking more of like a schlick kind what? of noise. Yeah. And but it, it <laughs> in the subtitles, which I always have turned on for everything uh-huh. even though i struggle with just having subtitles on it's See, nice to have them on but like good. if it's in a different language i cannot focus because i can't just read the subtitles but if i'm watching it i like to have the subtitles on and i can yeah. pay attention to both i like so for some reason that's why it's always that's why i hate subs i, I always if it's in a different language it has to be dubbed because i can't pay attention all that's to say though they described that noise that's being made in stranger things as squelching and i thought it was so <laughs> funny because then the subtitles would constantly th- say things like squelching noise and then they would say something and then in the subtitles it would say squelching continues and then <laughs> eventually right. it said my favorite one which is squelching stops <laughs> 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 so that's where the meme came from and there was plenty of squelching noise there was lots of good show. squelches in this it one was, it was squelching all around cornucopia yeah. so. of squelch <laughs> yes <laughs> So that um, and rain, lots of rain. You're right. Yeah, right. Like I live in Louisiana, and I was still envious of this amount of rain. Was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, there's a lot of rain. It was supposed to rain tonight, but it didn't. But it didn't. They lied to me. <laughs> no, Never I'm forget. Sad. Never forget yeah. how they lied to you. What they took from you. All right. <laughs> oh, they'll get theirs. They'll get theirs. I'll show them <laughs> what real day. rain. Who is. the hell do they think I? Am? Sorry, I'll stop, <laughs> with, I'll stop with the memes. No, the no, show. our humor is purely referential. <laughs> if they don't get it, fuck them. Oh, chill, Let chill. me see you grit those teeth. So, uh. <laughs> anyways, I thought that. So I've heard this story numerous times mm-hmm. in different capacities. Really, I just Ow. recently listened to another podcast. Um, they do like stories from mythology, mm-hmm. and they kind of like put a, a nice spin on it. And uh, I just recently, as we were all talking about watching this movie, I got told the premise of the movie, and I was like. I'm pretty, dr- pretty sure I just, familiar. I just heard a folklore 
something about this. Not the labyrinth, <laughs> not the fawn. Went down to the local pub and heard a folklore. <laughs> I had a drink with the boys, and we talked about um, the some labyrinth. Some myths. <laughs> no, I, now again, that sounds like the best time to have a drink with the boys and talk about your favorite myths. Yeah. You should do that after It's a this. great Thursday night. Yeah, right? Thursday night, myth night with the boys. Thursday night, <laughs> myth night. <laughs> Look out, your place one character turns into meth night. Oof, so, you were saying. No, no, <laughs> That's I right, hope we mon- call it myth proprietors. It's called uh, Myth Monday. Myth Mondays. Hell yeah. Any, anyways, yeah not anyways, to be confused anyways, with meth anyways. Mondays. Totally so different. The, uh, I, the story that I heard had nothing to do with the fawn or the labyrinth. Mm-hmm. It was a Everything Spanish. Pan. It was a Spanish girl, was born of the moon, came down to Earth. Moon's haunted. As like a princess or whatever, was the most beautiful person ever. I don't know. It was like a crazy thing. Apparently, she dies, but then gets reincarnated years later, which is kind of the premise of this movie yeah, to some it degree. Is. So it is, yeah. Anyways, so I think there's like a lot of like moon princess girls, Moon's but haunted. also queen yeah. of the underworld? Question mark afterlife? Question mark I don't know. There are, are a lot of uh, <coughs> uh, a lot of stories apparently involving moon princesses. Yeah, or so just I just women from the moon. Gotta find me a moon princess. Yeah, which makes me think that maybe there's a moon princess out there for moon you. Moon women, moon women are something special. Yeah, a breed apart. Some <laughs> might say. Oh my god, moon ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so. if you're listening to the podcast and you happen to be a moon lady, <laughs> for those of you just tuning in, uh, please <laughs> run. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? <laughs> Please don't eat the grapes. Like, come on, oh man. My like, God. Just, Jesus. You had one rule. You had one what thing. Was that? And what made you. What, did you get so. You had you a Thurston for a grape all of a sudden? You were like, yeah, ooh, that grape well, looked damn. Okay, it looked so like a fake grape anyway. In the, in that grape her, looked plastic. In her defense. No defense. She, she went to bed. <laughs> She's an 11 year old. She, she went has to, no defense. She went to bed, quote unquote, without dinner. I think that was the yeah, whole point. Without oh, supper. Okay, so two grapes. That. That so, makes sense, but still stupid. No, because yes. if you di- if you went to bed without dinner, you're gonna go for something big, something nice, something not, big, not two grapes. To be fair, that was Whole a pretty hog. big ass grape. Yeah, it was, but it looked like it was plastic anyway. It looked like a crappy grape. Anyway, Man, you didn't even go for the bread or the cheese. She wanted to have a balanced meal. What is yeah. that game? Oh, oh yeah. What is oh, that oh, game? She that, had a full on banquet that, in front of her. Yeah, everyone, and she went for grapes. Hey, 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 chill with the grapes. <laughs> salt. Gosh, dang it! Wow, it's so salty. chill. <laughs> The so salty about grapes. I know you are, obviously, but calm so, down. It's grapes. So I, I will not. That's ridiculous. What was, what was the game everyone was playing like back in two thousand eight? The grapes. horror game. Gosh uh, dang it! Was it amnesia. Yes. That, wow. Oh. Thanks. You actually got that's, that's the only horror game that everyone played. <laughs> you, you nailed that one. Anyways, <laughs> the the creature in amnesia reminds grapes. me so much of eyeball hand guy. Isn't that's why that's how oh, I've seen yeah. it before. I think that's how you, I've seen it before. Something similar. You have seen that guy before because I think no, he's, he's no. actually on the promotional art for yeah, Pan's Lab. No, no, I've seen him, but I, I'm pretty sure I've recognized that's how as well through Amnesia. Possibly. Yeah. Something similar. He looks something similar like that. Uh, that thing's freaky enough. It wouldn't be hard to come across an image eventually at least. Oh, of course. Yeah. Even though it was very brief. <sighs> Yeah, it was yeah, just it was everything about scene. that motherfucker. Uh, I thought that, that was a cool. He had little chicken legs. I thought it was a cool scene. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was, that that was the only scene that stayed with me. Yeah, he was well. It was well done in making a very creepy character. Mm-hmm. I liked the, it. That was one thing I had a hard time with was like watching the subtitles, comprehending what they were saying, but then also trying to pay attention to how great some of the like costume, like mm-hmm. the uh, makeup. Oh yeah. What is it called? Prosthetics. Like how good they looked. Because the fawn, like they had put some <laughs> money into making the fawn oh, look yes. nice. He looked good. I was mm-hmm. like, it yeah. was so well done that I didn't pay attention to subtitles <laughs> for whenever he was in there. I was like, dude, look at that. Story be damned. He's saying things and I'm like, cool ah, fun, yes. Man. Hola, no habla espanol. And I'm just watching him. <laughs> yeah, just do his thing. Do his, yeah, <laughs> just watching him vibe there with a knife fawn in his hand. Okay. Well, this guy has a little more of a floppy jaw, but I mean, you know. He, he, wait, wait. He, I know. <laughs> is this the... Oh, yeah. I hadn't seen that guy in years. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, like That's I said, him. look at a little reunion. floppy jaw. But he, floppy he, jaw. You know what I'm talking about. Smooth skin. I've never actually seen someone play Amnesia and seen that thing happen. Like, every time I watch someone play Amnesia, mm-hmm. all the episodes I would watch were just so boring. Peek-a-boo. So it was just them walking <laughs> oh. around. Like, I never watched someone <laughs> play Amnesia and get to anything exciting. Yeah. I was like, sure. oh, I think look, he comes walking around. I think Yay. he comes late game. He must have been watching pros play. <laughs> no, I was watching made. random nerd YouTubers play. Oh, okay. And I was just like, oh, they're walking around again. I just never got to the good part. It was it was really intense and like, oh, so I'm just going to jump out. That's all horror yeah. games are anyway. So yeah. right. I Anyways, we don't got to worry about all that. But back to the labyrinth, it was Pan, right? Mm-hmm. We got a stick bug with wings in the beginning <laughs> of the movie. All right. And the stick bug with the wings turns out to be a fairy. Mm-hmm. 
supposedly transforms nice. into a fairy once it and then turns shown. into two more fairy brothers whenever the fawn comes around the fawn the fawn no. <laughs> so there's two stories going on girls trying to go back so that she can be the queen of hell uh-huh. metal on and the world <laughs> quote unquote <laughs> so we've got we've got a uh, hell queen trying sorry hell princess trying to become hell queen Doom music metal. starts <laughs> yeah right <laughs> Do music intensifies, and then we've got this dude who's Capitan, and everyone hates him, and they're trying to kill him, and there's a resistance fighting him or whatever. Yeah, something about a civil war with a guerrilla fighters and a fascist government. I, I'm gonna say this thing did one thing. Uh, it's that you don't put a gun in a scene if you're not gonna shoot it before the Hell end of the yeah. act. There uh, yeah. was like four different instances where they were they kept showing things, and you're like, yeah, yeah, we get it. This is gonna be important. Mm-hmm. They showed her put that knife in her shirt like four times. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we get it. She's going <laughs> to use the knife. Okay, she's going to stab the guy later. Awesome. Right. Went to the point where whenever she was getting tied up, I was like, oh, I'm guessing you got your knife to stab him. It's time. Knife. And then, then she like stabs him and like gets him, but then just doesn't kill him for, doesn't for, do a great for, job. for no reason. She like stabs him in the heart, which was actually the shoulder, slashes him in the back, stabs him in the arm, and then cuts a hole in it, like a, a slice out of his cheek, and then just leaves him there. Yeah. Like, finish him. Just kill him. He's, he's literally yeah. the big bad evil guy. Kill just, him. He's the BBEG, and you're just gonna freaking <laughs> BBEG, <laughs> and, you're just, and you're just gonna you're gonna just leave him there. And, and not to mention, like th- this is probably my biggest thing with the scene is like the only thing they after he got stabbed three times and cut the only thing they focused on was him sewing up his cheek. Oh, he was yeah. like, oh, I completely recovered from my multiple stab wounds and giant deep bad slash wound on my shoulder. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure. Thing, I'm that, pretty sure she also stabbed him in the back and then, and then yeah, went down strung it down. It. Yeah. Yeah. If anything needed stitches, it was not that bitch's cheek. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was his back. <laughs> and like, it, they just move on. I'm like, I'm just saying, it, him moving on after that scene and like, get her, that already probably couldn't have happened. The yeah. amount of stab wounds he had there, he was probably he was bleeding. bleeding out. Yeah, He was probably bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. But also, on top of that, why didn't she just kill him? Why did Why did you go for the shoulder and the back and then the hand and then the cheek? <laughs> you, you already had the knife in his mouth. Go into his brain. Kill the bitch. What? <laughs> she wanted like, to leave him alive and disfigured. Oh, I, guess, ooh, look at that. I wanted to leave him a alive. Nasty slash in the and face. I wanted to give him a na- kill it. What? <laughs> but then she also runs away and then tries to get caught. Yeah, right. right. And, and then like gets almost gets, gets almost gets clapped yeah. or something. Like and then oh. the gorillas arrive. I kept making jokes about the gorillas because I knew it was <laughs> warfare gorillas, but then I was like, what do you mean you're having a hard time finding the gorillas? They're pretty big, right? Yeah. <laughs> they they big, big. Are you talking like silverbacks here? <laughs> <You're talking dude>? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't think of that one. But like, I don't know. That was there was a few things where I was like, I feel like in in, in any realistic scenario, these characters are doing very ridiculous things. Yeah. yeah. The eleven year old, I get it. She's like eleven years old and she's not following orders. But also, like, I can't think of <laughs> one kid who, whenever a magical creature says to do something, j- just would still go against what they told them to do. Yeah. Like, I feel like uh, no one believes me, but this magical creature told me to do something. They're gonna probably follow the magic creature because no one else believes them. They think the creature understands them. I feel right. like the kid would still not eat the food. But also, whatever. It's just she's a hungry poor child. Yeah, literally. right. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, even then, but when when the fawn says like your life depends on it, I I'd, I'd have taken those words to heart. I and, guess and, you're right, but, but and you know. that, that's not the only scene. That's just the one I keep going back to because I think it's hilarious that she actually ate one. <laughs> she actually was like a mm, <laughs> breakfast of and then, the, like, hey, uh, what's the worst thing yeah, I have? But, but there's fun. also the fact Some that the fucking weird skin creature, her, her fairy off. friends that are the only reason she's made it this far. Her yeah. fairy friends are literally pushing the food out of her mouth, and she's like, me, whatever. Two of which die because yeah, of it. Yeah, and I'm like, okay. Anyways, so I let's stop that. focusing on okay, the I'm trying table. to move on past it. Let me finish. So I'm trying to, what I'm saying is, I think there was multiple times where there were characters that like did things that just didn't make sense. I, yeah. I feel like that was, that was my only really like issue with it where I was like, like, I don't, I don't understand why these people are like acting this way where it's like, I don't think that the character would eat the food in this scene or, you yeah. know, would not, would avoid killing him in the other scene. It, it's it gotta was like, be dramatic. Right. Yeah. And They're was, not going to go for the throat right away. I mean, yeah, I know, but it just, it felt like there was that, like I said, of that one guy, whenever the, st- the stuttering <laughs> as, as guy a rational back. human being, these things stand out. <laughs> yes, but you're also talking about like an 11 year old child. And you're talking about the most suspenseful movie, like part of those yeah, scenes, right? But like, where the creature awakens and <laughs> shoves his eyes in his hands. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it, it, that w- it was more so like for like the stabbing scene, like oh yeah, that's you. Like yeah, in situations that in which going for the throat makes sense, but you don't. Yeah, yeah. you're like why exactly in, in that scene? It it's makes like sense a, because it's. 
I was a stupid kid. It's like it was like it's like great. Exactly. Yeah. It's like horror that, that thriller just, movie logic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. It, it's exactly. super thriller movie logic. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's like I'm scared. It's like, run. Well, it's your own fault. What <laughs> the fuck do you think would happen? Right. Yeah, or like whatever. She's like she she poisons the drink. At first, I was like that's pri- priorities. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. At first, I was like priorities, and then Ian was like that that is her priority. Okay, actually, that checks out. It is her priority. Then why are you going literally <laughs> two miles per hour doing this? She's like opens the thing up and then is dripping sweet, it sweet, so sweet, slowly, sweet, and then like, she like then, and, then, and then she looks at it and she's like <laughs> gives it a little stir. <laughs> yeah, no, she she looks at it and she's like <laughs> and then she, she stirs it like she's going so slow. Grabs yeah. the kid, looks at him, starts talking to him, and I'm like, why are you just just like, like, just do do something. Why are yeah. you standing still? And then like, she get the fuck out of there. <laughs> then, yeah. then she's walking away, and then turns around, just looks the dude after he drinks, and I'm like, this guy's trying to kill you. Yeah. What are you doing? So then, I love, I love how like the, after she's being chased, she kind of like one, two, three, four, and then the steps like just yeah, like yeah, very yeah, exactly, and, and she like, like comes believe, right up behind hops. her, is like, hey, where the fuck are you yeah, going? Hops, As a kid, a jump, I would right? just like, like jump down those stairs. There's like three steps, and she's like, yeah, like down the steps, and I would be like, like jump down them. And I mean, of course, you're gonna exercise caution if you're carrying a fucking baby. But but also it, this is an urgent situation. You're being chased by he has a you gun. Already, yeah, you gotta like beat <laughs> feet out of there. Not even that you hate. You're being chased by someone who you never liked in the first place. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. and that, that, I guess that was like my issue is like. It felt like the pacing on that chasing scene <laughs> felt so off because it's like it starts off bad where she's standing there holding the kid, looking at her, looking at him, and he's like. Give me that baby back, and she's like, "No," yeah. and he's just looking at him. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you know all right, you, you told him off. Now, now run. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, like oh, it's just you're a child. Run. And then she's like, you're, she you're like, smaller and faster. What I didn't understand was whenever she made it into the labyrinth with the child, mm-hmm. and then of course she hits the dead end. And she's like, "Oh crap!" And then all of a sudden the labyrinth is like, "Don't worry, I got you." And opens like <laughs> yeah, right? opens I, I yeah. no you, lie, homie. no lie. Opens, Three walls. Oh, no, no, opens four layers of walls. Oh, yeah. She runs past all of them, and he gets stuck there. Like, oh crap, I can't find my way through. Yeah. And then like she makes it in there, and of course next scene the fawn's like, "Great, awesome, give me the child." Yeah, give and then me, give me the <laughs> baby. Suddenly they again, talk. Another they talk for <laughs> they talk for less than two minutes, and all of a sudden, boom. Main he made his is, way. Baby EG, <laughs> like, he's bad. The fucker what? sets a direction is godlike. <laughs> right? yes. Yeah, and he's still, by the way, he's still bleeding out. By the way, like, <laughs> yes. yeah. and no has and has like drug medication, mega drug. Yeah, yeah like I Which, just, but like stumbling through a fucking maze. Yeah, <laughs> figuring his way out. That's why I was like, I know that she drugged him, but also like immediately the drugs wore off. They made him stumble through the scenes, but like they, they didn't mean anything. It didn't, no, it didn't do anything. Like, mm-hmm. and that's another thing I have where I was like. She's holding the baby. She made it this far. She already agreed to do it. And then he's like, give me the brother. And she's like, no, I get why not. She's an innocent person. She's not going to like sacrifice her brother. Right. But also, I feel like in this point, this is the part where a kid would stop, que- would not question anymore. It would be like, I don't know. And just give them the kid. It's like, all right, here. Yeah. So <laughs> quick, like, before as- the man with the gun comes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I want to be a princess. Like, yeah. I feel like that's the point where that one made sense and didn't happen. I get it why for the movie. That's kind of the mm-hmm. whole. That's I just love how he's holding the knife in his hand. <laughs> it's like, right. She's like, you give, <laughs> give no, me hey, that what you, baby. She's like, what do you got there? She's like, the- <laughs> she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, <laughs> oh my God. so wait, why, why do you need my, my brother and she's like, I'm just no gonna reason. draw. I'm just gonna draw. Hey, I'm just a little bit of blood, just, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Like you know a what? We just need a little bit. A little detail. Blood. <laughs> we just need a little bit of the blood of the innocent. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna it's be great. Easy. Easiest part. Just but give he's me like, the, give but me he's the sitting baby. there and he's just like, we <laughs> like just like hold this knife around. And you're like, whoa, dude. Yeah. You're swinging the knife around. Like a big lot. knife. Yeah, it's like it's silver really and big, gold. That's like the size of the baby. Yes, exactly. Just a little bit. A little blood with a knife that would they could not take anything less than a modern amount of blood. Easily a freaking serum. Ceremonial sacrifice yeah. blade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, I smell what sacrifice. You got there? <laughs> a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's holding a gun and talking about sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. man. I, I just like, and, and again, I, I think it, it makes it even better the fact that like, uh, like earlier on, like in Act One slash Act Two or whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. where there's like the podi, like the I mean the totem there, yeah. and he's talking about the totem, and he's like, "That's me right there," and that's you, and also, and uh, and she's like, "Oh yeah," and, and uh, who, who's that baby? Or whatever, and he's like, uh, what did ah, he say? I see you've completed oh, the first Oh, I see you've task. completed the first task. You got ah, the key. <laughs> I remember that. I, that, yeah. didn't, that didn't click until just now. I yeah. love that. Yeah. He's who's, like, who's the baby? Worry. Ah, yes, look it's at that. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Right? Yeah. yeah. Better duck from this mouse. Why are you tool? holding that knife in the in the totem towards that yeah. child? Oh, oh no, no reason. Look at that. You oh, finished the cause task. Because it, it looks cool. 
Wow. What a surprise. I see that, I see that picture of, of that, that creature eating the heads off of babies. <laughs> I should eat this food. There's no <laughs> yes. way I could not eat any of this right. food and be fine. Yeah. You want to talk about like a... Uh, that was some cool scene. Showing your, talk yeah. about showing your hand. Right. You're yeah. like walking in there. This guy's just like... He's just vibing <laughs> there. He yeah. shows his hands. He's vibing right. with his hands on the table. Good Lord. Yeah. And you have the, the murals on the walls. It's like... Of him it's ripping only, heads off babies. He literally... <laughs> I just love how there's like one scene where like <laughs> I thought it was funny. I wanted to say something, but I was also having a hard time like reading mm-hmm. and like keeping up with what was going mm-hmm. on. In one of the the painted pictures of this uh, eyeless monster, he is holding a child in the air with one hand, mm-hmm. about to eat him or in the process of eating him. Yeah. And there's two other kids on the ground like bowing down, like they're praising him. And I was just Ooh. like, "Yes, finally, you're killing Bobby." <laughs> <laughs> Either that or like. begging not to be eaten. <laughs> I like the one where he was yeah. holding it with two hands. That like in a way, it, it could, looked like he was playing with. It him. could look like he was playing, but in, in my mind, yeah. I knew he wasn't. So all I could think of was me when I get you. <laughs> it's just him shaking the yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking run away from me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, so it was, he's it was, got he's got a fucking name. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, something terrifying. Of course, let's, let's find out. There you is, guys. I didn't write any notes down for this one because again, there was it was hard to keep. There was Fuck so much going Mike. on, right? But like, <laughs> I just I I found that it was there was just so much going on yeah. for and this movie coming out in two thousand six. I will have to say it looks oh, pretty yeah. well. There's only certain parts where like there's like quote unquote nighttime scenes that like are super yeah. blue filtered that I can yeah. tell were shot in the daytime mm-hmm. that I was not a big fan of, but I could that was probably just like a right. limitation yeah. of like the uh, mm-hmm. whatever it's called. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it the right. pale man? Yes, yeah, that's it. The pale man. Ugh. The pale man was creepy as frick. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, yeah. check him out. Wow. <laughs> All right. Look at him. Look, look at, at him. him. Look at them teeth. Look at them hands. Saggy titties. Look at them hand eyes. <laughs> he's, he's Look at them chicken he legs. He's a saggy tit incarnate. Yeah. I am the saggy tit. <laughs> Whenever he was walking, I couldn't help but laugh. Was, his his yeah. legs are just so... Him, like, this is what you have to look forward this, to. Right, exactly. Like, he was like... His legs were just so funny. He yeah. was just like, like just bones and like... It's uh, just an unsettling silhouette. His femurs are just there. That's him? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a different picture. It's like skin that. and bone, but the skin is melting off. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ugh. His fe- When he stands up, his femurs just have uh, just have skin wrapped around him. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It's just, it was so much. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, as far as storytelling goes, yeah, the little girl has to complete tasks. So you know that the movie's going in multiple stories, but in mm-hmm. a linear direction of her completing tasks. Right. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I liked it. That it felt like a little bit more video gamey for a movie, though. Like yeah. complete yeah. these tasks, but also I kind of liked it because not many movies do that. It, it's because it's. It, I can see why many movies don't do that, right? right? But I liked that they did it. I think that was cool. She tries to complete the tasks or whatever. I mean, Bomb's the second one, and then he's like, "I'll give you one more chance," <laughs> and then she's like, "I won't." On the third one, and she still makes it to heaven at the end of the movie or whatever yeah. because she she shed and not an innocent an innocent life that was not. Another innocent that was her. She shed her blood over an innocent life. That was yeah. it. And then, yay. Got reunited what? with Mama and Papa. Oh, yeah. Also, the um, watch. That was something. The watch. The guy mentions that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that was another thing that they put in the scene like five times yeah. and way more. They start probably more like a dozen times. He takes his watch out and you can hear it clicking all the time. I made a joke about him being Mr. Smee or him calling Mr. <laughs> Smee because it was all, that was all <laughs> yeah. the watch clicking in the background. Yeah, waiting for an alligator to show yeah. up. So he. Um, but he, he tells a story about how, like, whenever someone dies, he breaks the watch when he's dying so that his son can find him and, and he can see the watch broken and stopped at the exact time that his dad died or whatever. Mm. So he just always has the watch. And every scene that the captain is in, he ha- he brings out the watch at some yeah. point, which is like 20 scenes. Mm-hmm. And eventually when he dies, which this was actually pretty badass, I'll admit, when he dies, he's like holding the watch and he's like, my like my son, t- tell him what time I died and tell him that I and then the chick cuts him off and she's like he won't even know your name and yeah. the dude just takes a hit and blasts him <laughs> in the head and I was like Should that be was noted. he was surrounded by the fucking yeah, gorilla at, forces at this point he had been caught he knew he was dying yeah and so he's like let my son know and she cuts him off and says <laughs> like nah motherfucker he's not even gonna know your name you and then did. without hesitation the guy's like yup takes a gun out and just <laughs> shoots him in the face in and the I was cheek. like right in the, right through the cheek somehow Ugh. that killed him the the stab wound to the heart didn't do nothing but the, that that <laughs> Through the cheek shot, butchered him. Yeah. And he just falls over. Gotta be honest, uh, that was a really, not only a cool scene, but also a really funny scene. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, man. That was but, good um, stuff. That scene with the guy stuttering, though, that was also kind of cool. That was, oh. that was hardcore. Yeah. 
dude's trying to get to three without stuttering, and he's like, oh, no, and then he doesn't make it, and the dude breaks his hand in, like, Bashes 27 his places. The hammer. Hits his Splits face. Splits his hand open. Yeah, like, yeah, it gets... Just, well, just murders him. What other movies did Guillermo del Toro make? Oh, buddy. Oh, he made that movie? I didn't yeah. know he did. Hmm. Let's see. Pacific Rim. Ah, uh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Guillermo del Toro made Pacific Rim? Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that again? <laughs> oh, I was like, Guillermo del Toro made Pacific Rim? Yes, he did. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that he was solely responsible, but he was. He definitely had a yeah, He helped make it. That's cool. Big-ass hand in it. I mean, he, does, he has big-ass hands. Oh, yeah. Dude's a giant. Yeah, um, there is also the Hellboy movies. Have you seen the meme of uh, the little girl who was calling him Todoro san? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's a funny meme. Uh-huh. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if I believe it, but I do think it's funny. Yeah. Those are those are all the ones. I didn't know he made seen. Hellboy either. Okay. Yeah. Oh, The Shape of Water. <laughs> I've seen none of those movies. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about that one. Okay, cool. I was just thinking about oh, Blade. He also made Blade. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I was just thinking about it because I was like, I know, obviously I know Guillermo del Toro. Right, but I just didn't know from what, and it was definitely the man Pacific is Rim. A legend, I can see. That. I have seen Pacific Rim though. He's uh-huh. the only one that I know can do giant robots justice. Yeah, he did a very yeah. good he pulled job that shit Pacific off Rim. flawlessly. Did a great job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really, I, I thought it was, I thought Pacific Rim was great. I thought it was fun. Yeah, as I, as I, as you know, you know that I'm gonna say it. You know I'm gonna say it. <laughs> right. I didn't like the ending, but yeah. I, I thought Pacific Rim was great. Mm-hmm. Literally, they had a perfect ending, and then they just let that guy. This is a spoiler warning for the movie. This podcast is not about that movie, so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a spoiler <laughs> for it. They they had the perfect ending set up, and then the dude's little pod just shoots up out the water. And I'm like, frick it, I hate this ending now. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. the, the, that that story of like one of the characters making it out, but the other one dying. Should have died. And it be no exactly. It being a deep <laughs> ending where one makes it and one doesn't. Yeah. Dude's pod shoots out, ruins the ending. <laughs> like like. <I> <laughs> I remember being in theory. I remember being in the theater and it, that pod shooting up at me, being like, "Freaking <laughs> fall!" And, no, no, and I just said, "God damn it!" No, I said, "Of oh, freaking course!" <laughs> I was like, I, "I knew it was coming." Here it is. I, uh, yeah. like, if we can get back on rails for a second, I love the fact that this movie never we really. Can. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dang. I was saying we can. I, was I like, I'm cool with it. I never. I liked that the ne- the movie never really told you if what. Well, you were watching was real life or not. Yeah. Like at the end of uh, the movie. Yeah. Like, like oh, yeah. the, the, the fact that like the child, it could have very well been all in her imagination mm-hmm. or it could have mm-hmm. not been. You don't really know. Right. That's, that's the, the weirdest thing at the, the end of the, the movie. Captain, I started realizing that. Captain Vidal could have just not had, uh, like, uh, what is it? Like fairly odd parents where it's like, you could oh, just, yeah. you just can't see them cause you don't believe in them kind right. of thing where it's like, he could have just not seen it. But like, but the movie never expressly, tells you that it is or isn't. And yeah. of course the ending kind of still kind of carries that ambiguous like I what, think the, what happened the narrator helped for me a little bit cuz at the end it's like legend has it where that she she lived and she ruled or whatever. And her people so, loved her. Yeah. So the narrator James. thing kind of made me feel like it was real again. It, but like if it ended if, I mean I know but if it ended without the narrator, I would have legitimately been like I don't know if that was at all. 0%. Yeah. What yeah. what the narrator said makes me feel like it was all like a real thing that happened. Yeah. But you're right, there's one scene in the movie to describe what we're saying where the captain walks around the corner and she's talking to the fall and she's saying I'm not going to give the boy up. And so she's shouting at him, but the captain, from his perspective, yeah. you see that she's just shouting at nothing. There's nothing yeah. there. And then he takes the boy, shoots her, and then now she, it goes back to her perspective. Fawn's gone, too, and now she's bleeding out. Right. Well, so now we don't know. It Was any of this real? It, it's sort of like a double-edged sword because on one hand, she's dying and probably just thinking of what would make her happy the most right now. Exactly. Or, yeah. Well, it's also like but it, at the same time, she's also bleeding into that well. Yeah. yeah. It also it could be either. It also helped the fact that, like, Earlier on, whenever the fawn got pissed off and left, he kind of just like crouches down and disappears. Yeah. So he's like, "You had your chance, and that's it. You're done." And the guy mm-hmm. gets pissed off, and then he crouches down and whoo, gone. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "The first she, time you see crying. him, he's able to do that again." The movie as yeah. well. Like the first time you see him, he like so the fact does that, something and just like disappears. So the fact yeah. like his last words were, "As you say, your highness," and then just crouches down and, de- and vanishes. You're like, "Okay, well he does this, so that doesn't surprise me." Right. And mm-hmm. now she kind of like panics and is like, "Oh crap." Oh no! Shit! I'm alone. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. So I, like I said, I just I like the ambiguity of it. it mm-hmm. It's really yeah. nice. So. Oh, that was really uh, that's what I thought was really interesting at the end. Like, the narrator being like, uh, it, "Legend has it that she did all that thing." Maybe yeah. like, "Oh, maybe this was all real again." But that ending, it it really did leave that open, which was kind of cool. I like yeah. that. Um, yeah, but it was I, I enjoyed the movie overall. I thought it was great. Oh, yeah, yeah it, I felt good. like it was. 
like it was fun listening to because Dylan and I, and actually all three of us, to the most part, listen to or watch a lot of anime that is in Japanese anime. that has that has uh, English subs. So now to watch a movie that is in Spanish that has English subs, mm-hmm. and I know a decent amount of Spanish. Yeah. So like to watch it, it was interesting, and I enjoyed it. It was kind of just I don't. It know. felt different. Yeah. I'm not used to subs. I don't. I don't really watch anime that much, and if I do, I can't do it with subs, mm-hmm. and I don't speak any Spanish. So like. I felt like it was difficult, but I mean that that's a personal thing. It's a thing that whenever it comes to watching something with subs, they're just two people. There are two people, and, and like some people are like, "No, subs the way to go," because the original language is what it was meant to be. And I fully understand what they're saying. Right. That's the way you can't dub voice acting is crap because the the emotion that the original voice actors have is like a million times more. It's just crappy. But I just can't focus. Yeah, it, it's hard for me. I don't really like it. In, in that regard, it's understandable. <clears throat> However, there are some. Like really spot on, like good dubs. Mm-hmm. And especially yeah. nowadays, they've gotten really good at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that the the dub for we're back at the show with well, the dub for Grin Lagan. <laughs> oh had, my gosh! <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I'm just saying. I realized the dub for Grin Lagan had two it, like insanely famous voice actors in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of them were on the critical role. Oh yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think actually at the moment I forgot both of their names, but I remember I heard both their voices and I was like, "Whoa!" Well, one of them, <laughs> one of them was from beginning to end in the show, which right, was really viral. cool. Was really yeah uh, mm-hmm. viral. But then the other one was only in the second half of the show, and that was the guy who voice acts. Um, uh, he's my favorite voice actor. I'll figure it out. I'll find him. But yeah. Um, so, oh, you might be thinking of that one. Uh, he Ro- also uh, does fucking, Gara. He yeah, does. Ross Hughes head ass uh, kisser. Yeah, right. That one dude with Ross glasses. Head, ass yeah. Kisser. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he voices Yasuo in League of Legends. He voices Gara and Naruto. He he voices all sorts of crap. He was Liam also O'Brien. in this. Liam O'Brien. Uh, that was it. Yeah. Dude, Liam O'Brien's in the show cool. as Ross Hughes Head Ass Kisser. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh <laughs> Honestly now that I think about it, it seems like a bit of a waste. To just as far, as delegate as, him to a side character I like mean, that. Yeah, but I still mean, I, him being as in As long it as I can so hear cool. him, that's probably right, yeah. so yeah. But yeah. He's probably doing okay for himself. Oh, no, I'm <laughs> for sure. I, I'm pretty sure he's all right. Oh, yeah. He's doing all right. That Gara roll alone probably made him all right. <laughs> oh, oh like, 100%. <laughs> Good Lord. 100%. He's probably still making residuals off that <laughs> right, show. Yeah, right. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It's like a, I said, it's a labyrinth. Like I said at the top of the of the episode, uh, this has been a crazy year for all of us here in this, uh, this podcast, but I know also around the world. Um, we're... Uh, we're approaching coming up on a year in the next few months or so. I'm hoping that like as the year comes to a close, I was thinking about sitting down and having an episode where we all talk about like our favorite uh, movies that we've watched for the podcast. Mm -hmm. So kind of have like a small little list and kind of like have a little recap of like what we've done. Yeah. Uh, Do some backtracking. Yeah. Do some backtracking. Just a little bit of like a, a look back at the years, like the year gone by, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's been a wild ride, and I enjoy oh, it. Oh boy! I thank you all for listening and tuning in, and just letting us all know that you appreciate it and all your feedback and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. I enjoy it. But um, if you guys want to look for us, we have a link tree forward slash Ian Wolf. You can look at us on Spotify. Go follow us on Spotify. Um, <laughs> oh no, he's spinning again. Speed. Help! Ah. Help! He's spinning again. <laughs> help! Help! I'm being repressed. <laughs> <laughs> Look us up. It's uh, the aftermath of underneath the podcast section on, like I said, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Whatever you want to find us on, uh, you can find our social media links. Check us there out as well. Spoofy. Exactly. Uh, and until next time, guys. Jodem Cletus. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>